When should Flask.g be used? I saw that G will move from the request context to the app context in Flask 0.10, which made me confused about the intended use of G. My understanding, for Flask 0.9, is that G lives in the request context, i.e., created afresh when the request starts, and available until it ends. G is intended to be used as a request blackboard, where I can put stuff relevant for the duration of the request, i.e., set a flag at the beginning of the request and handle it at the end, possibly from a before underscore request slash after underscore request pair. In addition to holding request level state, G can and should be used for resource management, i.e., holding database connections, etc. Which of these sentences are no longer true in Flask 0.10? Can someone point me to a resource discussing the reasons for the change? What should I use as a request blackboard in Flask 0.10? Should I create my own app slash extension specific thread local proxy and push it to the context stack before underscore request? What's the point of resource management at the application context? If my application lives for a long while, not like a request, and thus the resources are never freed. Advanced Flask Patterns, as linked by Marcus, explains some of the changes to G in 0.10. G now lives in the application context. Every request pushes a new application context, wiping the old one, so G can still be used to set flags per request without change to code. The application context is popped after teardown underscore request is called. Armin's presentation explains this is because things like creating DB connections are tasks which set up the environment for the request, and should not be handled inside before underscore request and after underscore request. As an addendum to the information in this thread, I've been a bit confused by the behavior of Flask.g2, but some quick testing has helped me to clarify it. Here's what I tried out. And here's the output that it gives. As they Forkman said above, every request pushes a new application context. And as the Flask docs say, the application context will not be shared between requests. Now, what hasn't been explicitly stated, although I guess it's implied from these statements, and what my testing clearly shows, is that you should never explicitly create multiple request contexts nested inside one application context, because, Flask.g and Co. doesn't have any magic whereby it functions in the two different levels of context, with different states existing independently at the application and request levels. The reality is that application context is potentially quite a misleading name, because, app.app .app underscore context, is a per request context, exactly the same as the request context. Think of it as a request context light, only required in the case where you need some of the variables that normally require a request context, but you don't need access to any request object, for example when running batch db operations in the shell script. If you try and extend the application context to encompass more than one request context, you're asking for trouble. So, rather than my test above, you should instead write code like this with Flask's contexts.
which will give the expected results. If you want the same warning, we ask the chance to just succeed